Hello, my name is Stephanie Keeley. I'm an instructor here at Porcy Park, and today we're going on a fossil hunt. We are going to the Porcy Park fossil beds. The fossils at the fossil beds are all ancient marine creatures, so we'll be finding a lot of shells. The park is about 250 acres, and it's also a New Jersey historic site. This is one of the exposed banks here at Porcy Brook. The lower level is called the Navisink layer. The layer above the Navisink layer is called the Red Bank layer. So the Navisink layer is older than the Red Bank layer because it's beneath it. The Navisink formation, which was created during the Cretaceous era about uh, 70 million years ago, that was actually an ancient ocean back then. Most of New Jersey was actually underwater. It was under a shallow ocean. Basically, the entire globe was hot. The average global temperature was almost 15 degrees hotter than it is today. So here in New Jersey, it was very hot, humid, and it was like a summer day every day. The Red Bank and Navisink formations have been naturally eroded here just because of the stream. You can see a lot of fossils sticking out. Here's one, here's a bunch. There are three criteria for what makes a fossil a fossil. First, it has to be once alive. So that would include plants in addition to animals. It has to be ancient which scientists say is at least 10,000 years old. And the third criteria is they have to be identifiable. We have to know what they are. So the method to fossiling is, I say you have to find a pebble party. And a pebble party is, it's really a place of deposition. The current has brought and deposited these pebbles here. And so it's likely that there will also be fossils here because that's where they're kind of being deposited by erosion. So you just crouch down, take a big old scoop, plop it in there. And just like you're panning for gold, you can then dip it in the water, sift it, and we got some fossils. There's several, yeah. This is an Agarostria mesenterica, which is a species of ancient oyster. It looks different than today's oyster because it's got those ridges, which kind of look almost like teeth. They're, they're not actually teeth, but they're an adaptation that allowed the oyster to take in more water. Really all of the organisms that were living in a very hot climate they're usually generally bigger and more robust than creatures that are living in a temperate or colder environment. So the oysters that we see here today are, the shells are a little thicker, they're a little hardier than oysters nowadays. I just found this belemnite guard. The creature that this is from is called a belemnite and it's not exactly a squid, it's more like an ancient cephalopod. And this is the hindquarters, I guess you could say. It was on the back end of the body. So the belemnite was an ancient creature that no longer exists. But nowadays, a creature that pretty much looks just like it, the modern day squid, does exist. One reason why paleontology is important is because it shows us how living organisms respond to environmental pressures. The oceans were hotter back then, and the creature's adaptations to be able to live in that hotter ocean are not as common today. I've always had a passion for science, and I truly believe that was instilled in me by my mother. She used to work here at Porcy Park several years ago, and so I really grew up here. This is just part of my home. 